Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. And I feel like right now, I look like a fucking bougie ass bitch. I feel like I look mad bougie with these earrings on. Like I'm from 2005. So I asked you guys to send me some questions on things you want to know about me and so on. So let's get right into the video. So the first question somebody asked me was, what do I find funny? that most people don't find funny. I just find everything funny. Like, I'm literally always laughing. Like, I find, like, anything funny. I'll be like, like, for example, I'll be like, yo, why, why is that thing sitting over there like that? Like, why does it look like that? Like, I'm like that type of person. Like, I'll literally laugh at anything. And most people are like, that's not even funny, bitch. Yes, the fuck it is. Like, why is it looking like that? That's me. He asked, do I want any type of plastic surgery? If so, what is it? So, I really want my lips done like I think that's the only one that I would get but for me it's like if like I don't really care if I get my lips done or not like if for me it's like if I get it I get it. if I don't I don't it's just something that I would really want to do but like I'm not fiending for it like I don't want like like I'm not the type like oh I need it like I feel like I don't need it but I just want it another question I got was what made you get into YouTube all right, so I'm taking this back to maybe ninth grade, about ninth grade. So I started to get into makeup. Wait, you know, what? let's just save that for another question. Somebody else asked me that. Let's start with the YouTube. Part. So I started to watch YouTube when I was like in when I was like in ninth grade. So like I would watch people like Candy Johnson and all that but I never really felt like I really wanted to do it up until about 11th grade so around 11th grade when I really started to really get into makeup like I would wear like foundation mascara and stuff but I wouldn't wear eyeshadow eyelashes highlight all that so I remember in 11th grade is when I really started to like makeup as much as I do now or even more now and um, I remember I used to do like these eyeshadow looks and I used to do them on snapchat so I used to like have my phone and I would like record me blending my eyeshadow and I'm like you know I would take a picture oh I'm using this color from this palette and I remember people would be like you need to start a YouTube and this was in the summer of me transitioning into 11th grade so they were like you need to start a youtube you need to do this and that and i'm just like yeah i know but i always felt like you need the right equipment to do that so i'm like no i don't have a ring light or i don't have a camera or i don't have this i don't have that but i'm just like you know right now i'm just gonna keep it to my snapchat and whatsoever then in the summer of going into 12th grade senior year so summer 2017 in this was like about ending of June beginning of July so I remember my boyfriend was in the room with me and he was like why don't you do a YouTube video and I was like mm, I don't know he's like you know you have the ring light you have an iPhone the iPhone has great camera so why don't you do it so I'm like okay so I remember I filmed the video it was like one of my it was my first YouTube video of course the, what the fuck and um it was a yellow look it was yellow with some orange in it and i remember when i first did it it was so bad it was so bad like the video quality not the video quality but it was blurry so like it wasn't focused and i was just like oh my god like it's bad and i was just like you know what fuck it so i remember it was like midnight and I downloaded iMovie and I started editing and I was like you know what I'm gonna just put it up it's only one video I put it up and I got like maybe a, I got a lot of views on it it was no more than like a hundred and well now it's more because obviously it was a year later but I remember it was like a hundred views on it and it was so bad to me but it was like the fact that everybody still like you know watched it liked it commented on it and really showed me you know i should really start to put more into this the next question i got was did you get into makeup so i started getting into makeup. well my sisters 
wore makeup, obviously. My mom wore makeup. I was always this girly girl. Lip gloss, perfume, jewelry, everything pink. So I started to get into makeup around 8th grade. So I remember I first started to get into like lipsticks, like MAC lipsticks. And my first MAC lipstick was Candy Yum Yum. And it was a bright pink. And I remember wearing it. And I was like, oh my god, I love, I love lipsticks. Like, I love it. So I would get lipstick, like, every time I had money. And MAC lipsticks are very expensive. They, like, went for, like, $17, I think. I took these earrings out. Sorry, guys. They're just so heavy and bougie. And it was, like, Christmas break of 8th grade. It was Christmas break of 8th grade. And I, um... I went to MAC and I bought a, a foundation and concealer and an eyeshadow palette. And that's when I really started to get into makeup. But like, it wasn't like I used it. Like, I didn't use the eyeshadows because I didn't really know how to. So I just kind of left it there. My mom would use it, whatever. So then I remember in 10th grade is when I started to do eyeshadow. So I I had my Sweet 16 and I used my money. I bought makeup, I bought eye brushes everything you could think of and i started to do makeup and that's when i started to do looks on snapchat and all that and everyone was like you should do youtube and that's what it led into today so i used to be bad i wasn't bad but like i was like bitch you could have blended that more like why your eyebrows look like that i'm gonna put pictures on the screen so you guys can see but it wasn't that bad but that's how i got into makeup what do you do when you find out a friend is talking about you so personally I have not really, I mean, I heard, like, I I have not really experienced this, but then again, I have, like, I never really caught them talking about me, but, like, I heard from other people, like, this person said this about you, and to be honest, I really don't care if you're my friend or not, like, don't care if they're fr your friend or not, because at the end of the day, if they were your friend, why are they talking about you, and if they really had a problem with you, they would come to you, so don't let that negative stuff come to you, because, you know, at the end of the day, don't stoop to their level, okay that's what i learned don't stoop to nobody's level because at the end of the day they got nothing on you and that's really it and yeah don't pay them no mind and if you feel like they're really being negative cut them off cut all ties with them block them or if not if you don't want to block them you don't have to block them but just don't be their friend I ask me what's your ethnicity so everyone asks me this all the time because they always think i'm something else like i always get something different every time somebody asks me and I'm just like, no, do you not hear my name? So I'm Puerto Rican, full Puerto Rican. And I get a lot of different things every time I meet somebody new. But like either you're Italian, I got Armenian one time, I'm just like, no. And yeah, I get a lot of other things, but I am Puerto Rican, full Puerto Rican, that's it. Another question I got asked, oh my God. <laughs> Are you a virgin? Are you a virgin? I'm going to major in in college is business administration. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to start my own business, of course, in makeup. But I really don't. Like, I want to do eyelashes, but I also want to do other things in the makeup field. So that's really what I want to major in, so business. And I also took a college class while I was in high school so that I won't have to take this class in college, so I took marketing. So if I really wanted to now, I have some knowledge on how to start a business. So if I wanted to, I could, but I choose not to because I don't want to rush into things. I'd rather have a lot more knowledge than I do now so that I know what's right and what's wrong in the business field. Do I have any piercings or tattoos? And if I don't, what would I get them? So I do have piercings. I have my first and second hole and a third hole on one ear. I have my first and second hole on this ear. I have my nose pierced and I have my bellies pierced. Bellies, what? Like I have another one and I have a lot of other ears. And no, I don't have tattoos. I do want one, but I don't know what I want yet. I don't want nothing stupid that I might regret. So that's why I'm going to wait it out. I'm still young and I still have a lot more growing to do. So yeah. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So in 10 years, I'll be 28. Damn, I'll be old. What the fuck? So in 10 years, I see myself 
married. Well, I see myself with my business, so that's the number one thing. So I see myself with my eyelash business. I see it booming. I see me making money and that. I see myself with a house along Mary to Chris, of course, and maybe with one kid on the way. Maybe. One kid. And yeah, that's it. I think that's all I wear. I see myself. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you got a lot of knowledge from my answers. Knowledge. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys like stuff like this, like get to know me's and stuff, because I will definitely do them, because I feel like I do a lot of makeup stuff, but I don't really let you guys know more about me. So I want you guys to know more about me, of course. And yeah. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And if you are, as you fucking should. Alright, and make sure you click that bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.